are the special delivery drop rates better at the end of the event? Well, there's seven days left, and we're going to open all these crates and see what happens. Today, we're on the Battle Rack account, which is owned by Pixonic. They sent us all these coins so we can show you guys the drop rates and all that good stuff. So let's open some boxes and see what these things look like. I'm going to start by opening some of the small crates. We'll just try and do 10 at a time. We'll get this going as fast as possible. Open all 10, and here's what we got. So those were all components. I mean, the drop rates used to be really, really good on a lot of these events, and it seems like they've slowed down a lot lately. So I don't know. Let's see if they're better towards the end of the event compared to the beginning. Normally when we do these videos, it's always towards the beginning of the event. So there we got a lot of components. Let's open some more. But usually towards the end, that's when you can get the really good deals on buying the tokens, right? The other day, we saw like 20-some thousand tokens for a pretty, pretty reasonable price, I guess you would say. But, you know, let's see what these drop rates are. Right, we got one claw right there. So far, all components in one claw weapon. All right. There we got one Katie O'Donnell pilot. All right, so what one one weapon, one pilot so far. There we just got a bunch of normal stuff. Okay, more components. But that's the thing. It seems like usually when you open these, it's mainly components. Now, from what I remember is the small crate never really had great drop rates. Now, the big crate, the medium crate always had decent drop rates in the past. The big crate always had awesome drop rates. So I'm not really surprised that the drop rates on the small crates aren't looking that good. All right, let's go ahead and just open all. What do we get? It looks like there's some things in there. Cool, we got a pilot. Lots of components in a pilot. So, so far we got, what, two pilots and two weapons, I think, something like that. Yep, bunch of components. Open, please. Thank you. I pushed the button like 12 times and nothing happened. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do it. Open automatically. All right. Lots of components. I mean, I, I like components because you can build weapons with them, right? It's good for building stuff. I mean, it takes a long time, but yes, eventually you're going to get enough stuff to build some nice stuff. I mean, it's amazing. Like on my account, a lot of the weapons and stuff I had actually came from components just from collecting things over you know a year or two or something i don't know how long it's taken for a lot of them but i've got a lot a lot a lot of weapons from components like it's actually amazing how many i got from there all right what we get what we get aha we got one sinister claw so, I mean, this gives you a good idea of what the drop rates are looking like on the small coins. So, I mean, this is pretty much what you're going to get, right? There we got a spike as the guaranteed prize, all right? So, let's go ahead and move on to the medium crate. I, I think we've got a really good idea here of what these really look like. So, I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed just to get components from that small crate. So let's go ahead and start opening the 150. We're going to do 10 at a time again. That saves us a lot of time. We're just trying to get through this quickly so we're not wasting your time. All right, lots of robot components. And more robot components. Okay. Next. What do we get next? Open automatically. Okay, we got one pilot. That's nice. So far, a bunch of components in one pilot. All right, lots more components. I mean, at least these are components for good robots. I sure am saying the word components a lot, but that's what we're getting. So more of those thingy dingies. Maybe I should just start calling them thingy dingies. I don't know. So there was our special delivery. Our guaranteed prize was an Aether, right? So we did get an Aether... If you don't have an Aether, I mean, if you can get some of those medium, it wasn't that many openings to get that. Aether is probably the best Titan at the moment. So we did get our Aether, which is awesome. All right. Let's move on to the next thing. 
But yeah, I mean, the drop rates aren't looking wonderful. If you're trying to get full robots and full weapons, the drop rates aren't the greatest. But, yeah, lots of 250 and 500 components. I should say thingy dingies. Lots of thingy dingies. We got all kinds of thingy dingies. And let's open all these up. All kinds of thingy dingies. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. All right. Ooh, there's something in there that looks good. But the question is, are we going to get it? Aha! We got the new pilots and a bunch of thingy dingies. All right. One pilot, lots of thingy dingies. Let's go ahead and open the next stuff. And, I mean, you're pretty much seeing what you're going to get here, guys. So I don't think the drop rates change towards the end of the season. I really don't know. It's not looking that way. It looks like it's mainly going to give you components on the big cr or the small crate and the medium crate. Now, the big crate's definitely a little bit different. Aha, are we going to get that pilot? I've got a weird th feeling we're not going to get it. Nope. We did get a uh, paint job for the Amugi, though, for what that's worth. Okay. Next. And, yeah. So, and we'll do a couple more of these, then we'll move on over to the big ones, because I'm pretty sure you've got the idea of what's going to happen here. I mean... This is pretty much letting you know what these drop rates are going to look like. We've opened enough of them to give you a great idea of what you're going to get when you open these boxes, right? So start of the season, end of the season, I don't think it really matters. Now we are going to get some sort of special reward on this one. See there, open 9 out of 9. And here comes number 10, which was a Cruel Angler. So... All right, that was the guaranteed deal after so many openings. So if you get a you know a few of these tokens, you'll get some pretty decent stuff from the guaranteed ones. We would have to open another 100 of these in order to get that special edition of Moogie up there. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on over to the big crates. And uh, we're just going to open all these at a time, right? So mothership components, guys, that's pretty much what's in here. We're going to get, every time we open these, now we did get five of these special crates from that. And we got one of these special crates. So we'll open all those in a minute. We're just going to go ahead and do this. So, of course, we know it's all mothership components every time we open this, guys. All mothership components, okay? Nothing else in there as far as I can remember. Just mothership. So, yeah. But every time we open 7,500 worth, we're going to get... You know, some of each crate here, which is good. You'll get one of the big one and a few of the small ones. So, more components. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, thingy dingies. More thingy dingies. All right. So far, we got almost 20 of these and three of these. Let's go ahead and open this. So, let's go ahead and stop here. Let's start opening these small crates and see what kind of things we pop out of here. All right, we got a paint job. In my opinion, there should not be paint jobs in here. There should not be paint jobs in this, right? That's that's my that's my thoughts. This should be full items only. Like, okay, cool. We got a Titan repair amplifier. That's very useful. Next, we got a paralysis drone. Uh, that shouldn't be in there either, in my opinion. An armadillo drone. Personally, I don't know if drones should be in here. I mean, I guess they are pretty hard to get. Okay, we got the same paint job over again. That kind of sucks. We got an Evora. So at least when you open the big crates, if you can open enough of these, at least you're going to get some real items. Right? We got a glaive. That's a really good weapon. Uh, we got a glider drone. Disappointing. We got a Dataki drone. Okay, cool, cool. We got a lance. Next up on the list is going to be a Reviver Drone. Here comes a Glaive. So I don't know. I mean, maybe if you can get some of these, maybe opening the big crates is worth it. All right, we got another one of those paint jobs. That's like the fourth one of those paint jobs. We got another Glaive. We got what? What did we get? We got the Veyron. We got another Titan Repair Amplifier. 
uh, Daltaki. I mean, we're getting all kinds of stuff, but uh, yeah. Lance. Here we go with a lance. All right, cool stuff. Good weapons. I like it. I like it. We got the beak. We got another beak. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Would it be worth opening these big crates to get these prizes? Right? So now we're going to move on to the main event. We got five of the big boxes. So these are where the good stuff is. The good stuff is in the big boxes. So the first one was a steak. So we got a steak. So there's one, two, three, four. Upgrade tokens. Why would they put upgrade tokens in here? I would be really, really, really upset if I opened this and got a couple of upgrade tokens. All right, we got the Keystroll drone. We got Lynx. There we go. There we got the Lady. And our next pull, look, the only thing left in here is the upgrade token. So the next pull is guaranteed to be upgrade tokens. And there's only three of them. There should be like 20 of those things, man. There, for, for being in this big legendary chest that you just spent a bunch of money on, that should be like 20 or 50 or something, not three. I mean, if those are going to be in there, there should be a bunch. I mean, that's kind of insulting. Three tokens right there. Mm, I don't know about that. So bottom line, if you're opening the event crates, that's pretty much what you can expect to get. If you guys enjoy this content, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want to help support the channel even more, check out the thank you button or the join button down the below, below the video. You should see the Danny Lightning merch store down there. If you drop down the video's description, there's some game news, some links, uh, my other YouTube channels, other ways to support the channel, all kinds of stuff. So drop down in the description, check that stuff out, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Lightning out. See ya.